Okay, Stance Park's Volvo XC90. Do you know what that means? It means it's the Reading Japanese meet, of course! So I'm not expecting much from this month's computer. Last month's inactivity. These meets are going downhill. Due to the relative sunshine, this is Reading MX5 meet tonight. There's a lot of them. What is, what is it doing? So we might as well go inside and see what it's like. Someone's arriving in a Civic and about to get told off. Potentially. <laughs> What's he doing? Is he checking out their number plates? Oh, he's going to get his plate as well. Hmm, there's one Nemesis in particular I'm looking for. I actually think it's in this lineup. No, it's not this one. Ladies and gentlemen, a decent car has arrived. Celebratory revs. Ah, here's the MX-5 I was looking for. Something about it looks slightly RX-7-y. Maybe it's the, the headlight, but you've got a custom front bumper that's had some repair and other bits are going on on it and only one headlights up and various things you can talk about including the spoiler as well and the color coded wheels to the rust i think the highlight is that you can see the molding foam that's used to create the shape of the bumper but if it wasn't like that i wouldn't have looked around it i wouldn't have noticed it we wouldn't be talking about it now i'd have just walked straight past it like some of the more standard cars of the show i think along with the rx7 my favorites are the green S13, the Purple Crown, and the K24 Civic. I mean, the rest are definitely cars. The, the police are watching everyone leave from further back. So, not a lot of noises tonight. somewhere they always are there he goes oh there's an officer of the law have some color to light up the night you've got pinks and greens even michelin man was lit people are bracing their ears for this one Well, now that I have a headache, it's time to go somewhere else, because everyone I've spoken to tonight agrees that tonight's meet was poor, so uh, let's try something else another night to make up for it, because this meet is dead. I thought to try a better car meet, I should be in a better car, so I'm in the Tracer, and I'm driving to Essex for the Essex car meet. It's been like a two and a half, three hour drive to get here. It's a Friday night, so it's another school night and um, the, the weather is glorious. Oh, here we go. Whoa, wow, good roads around here. Um, this is the first meet that they've done that is purely Japanese in the evening. I'm a little bit late due to the traffic. Is this the Essex? Yes, it is. Yeah. Let's go through and go to the left. Grab the high vis jacket. Thank you. This is more chilled. A trio of R34s. I know. Is there something about being on grass that gives it a different atmosphere? Because uh, th this this is this is very different. More chilled. More relaxed. The sun is beautiful. So are the cars. Uh, shame about the Lupo and the Fiesta that had a little shunt. Obviously, no idea how that happened. They're facing the other direction. But uh, another R34 GTR is turning up. 
perhaps where the Reading meet has failed is where this meet has succeeded. There is a separate section for non-Japanese cars. Uh, the police are involved now, taking pictures of the accident. Also, I'm sure this will be a hot topic. Uh, I haven't washed the car since Goodwood, so it's filthy. Some of the stars of the show turning up. R35 GTRs, a pair of them, starting off with the silver example. And then the full carbon wide body Nissan GTR. Another car we see at quite a few events. Check it out, another JZX100 chaser and the best lighting to show off the green paintwork. I thought I was quite late, but look, it's still got more arrivals. Another R34 and a midnight purple R33. And another R33 with blue wheels. Oh no, they're purple. What? The sun just changed them completely. And another R34 GTR to extend the lineup. I honestly think it's the attendance of the non-Japanese cars, the attendance of the police and the stigma attached to like the ready meets that are stopping cars like this from attending those meets. So uh gotta find some other ones. Car meets like this are pristine. Oh, check this out. This Subaru's making a bit of an entrance. Oh, oh, oh. It's getting the reaction it deserves. I have seen this Subaru once before and reveled in its rear end. Look at that! It's like a proper... I don't even know what to call it. It's a diffuser. There's a general silence as everyone is looking in the direction of the Subaru. Well, it's got uh, screamers out the front arch as well as the side pipe on the other end. And then you've got your intercooler on display, the bash bar protecting it. Oh, I think it's flaming out the other side. That's the craziest Subaru in the country. This car is attracting the most attention out of any other car that's turned up. Look, you've even got rear bucket seats and the standard STI buckets up front. Fortunately, that's cleared the crowd out a little bit. It's got a new arrival. In fact, there's a pair of arrivals. Can't believe how much this has filled up suddenly. You got the R33, the Advan livery, and the white R32 next door. Cheeky side pipe on that as well. Well, it's come to that point of the evening for cars to roll out. We've got the purple Mark V Supra. neighbours that aren't quite used to car meets and the noise. We're trying to keep the noise down so the organisers have asked people to come away from the exit and not film cars leaving. I've respected that but we've suddenly had a huge influx of cars departing and a lot of people are wandering back over to the exit to see and hear that. <laughs> I think that's what the organisers didn't want. Yeah, I think after that little sound bite, um, I think I might leave myself. 
Uh, it's a bit of a long journey back. There's a few more cars kind of scattered around, but uh, there we go. Let me know what your thoughts are about the two very different Japanese evening car meets during the week. You had the reigning Japanese meet on Tuesday, and then this Friday we had the Essex car meet, their first Japanese car night that they've done. I'm not sure whether they'll be back here again, but I'm sure they'll do another one somewhere in the Essex area. Soap is leaving soon. I am going to behave, because I'm a good boy. Oh yeah. Luckily I have a fluttery turbo and without doing much it still makes noises. So make sure you hit that bell when you subscribe to be notified for my next few videos. Getting a bit of variety throughout the summer, but for now, thanks for watching.